So we're here with Chris Rohn of Tensilica, who's now actually part of Cadence. Right. After all these many years, congratulations. Thank Welcome you. aboard. Thank you. We're at the 50th DAC. You've been to a lot of these in your career. Um, I, I remember when I was in grad school, I gave a paper in DAC of like 84 or something. It was really my first coming out as, a, as an academic, talking about synthesis, placement, and routing. And you did what your, I did my PhD you, on. You did your PhD on that. Indeed. What do you think is the biggest issue? And I know there are a lot of them confronting the industry. Well, what's the biggest issue today? Yeah. Well, I think that there are certainly some age-old issues that continue to be worked on. Things like verification and power and time enclosure are all quite important, but people have been chewing on those for, for a few years. I think the issue which is um, really most potent here is the whole question of how are people going to make the integration of big SOC more reliable, faster, less fraught with uncertainty. The sheer complexity of the individual subsystems, the level of interaction of them and the impact that they have on both correctness and energy is, I think, so daunting that people are just starting to wrestle with the question of how do we make this time and efficiency of integration really work so that people can pump out these SOCs ever faster. Because one of the great implications of Moore's law is that as you integrate more and more of the system onto a single chip, the more specialized that chip will tend to have to be. And that means there are going to be lots of opportunities for chip design, mission-critical chip design on these large-scale SOCs, uh, and therefore how predictable, reliable, profitable a process of integrating SOCs will make or break big companies. And I think there's lots of people who wrestling with that question, just waking up to how important it is. And so I'd say that's the big issue of the 50th DAC. 